imitators of your love to give our lives as a living sacrifice for the one that gave his life as a sacrifice for us. May it be holy and pleasing in your sight. I came here, um, I came here already pretty full up. Um, first I'd like to just ask uh, Lauren a little bit about her uh, prophetic art. I, I really like it. What you got there? So I drew a, sol like a painted a solar eclipse basically. And um, to me it's like when um, sometimes it feels like everything light in your life has been like completely eclipsed, like it's completely gone. But the truth is it's just like hiding right behind the corner and it's going to come back like within the next day kind of a thing. And there's so much other light out there too, even the stars, like there's still something there like, and it's coming back. Alright, awesome. Thanks for it. I like it. Reminds me of an album cover or something like that. <laughs> it looks like that. You know, when album, oh, oh, album. okay, I'm dating myself. <laughs> hey, um, I felt that the Lord was going to say uh, to us that, um, um, you know, that we've had the question in our hearts, show us the Father, you know, in John 5. The disciples, they've seen Jesus do all these amazing things, and they said, okay, okay, you're talking about your dad all the time, show us the Father. And it will be, that'll be enough, you know, and then we'll be okay. And, and then Jesus explains that, uh, you know, he and the Father are one. And he says, uh, my Father is working and um, working even right now. And so I'm going to work and great, you know, I'm going to do even more things that you will marvel. And um, he is a good Father. And I was just impressed with that, his goodness. And so I just want to speak his goodness over you this morning, that you would know he's at work and then you're in the family business, and so you're at work too, to this day. All right, are you ready for that? So we just receive it in Jesus' name. Assume the position. <laughs> and just receive his goodness that you are at work. You're all employed in the family business. In Jesus' name, amen. Assume the position, that's good. <laughs> okay, a couple of announcements. We have a little thing going on this next weekend called the Desert Shootout. <laughs> if you're a guy and you like shooting guns, this is the place for you. Actually, if you're a guy, this is the place for you. We're going to have some food and guns and all that stuff. There'll be a few people that, men that, well, they call themselves men that won't be there, but no, I'm kidding. Um, sign up. <laughs> Carl's not going. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's dressed really preppy today, so everybody, when you see him, he never dresses like this. It's really cool. I think his tattoos are coming soon. All right. Back to the announcements. Uh, so we have that. Guys, you can sign up. This is your last day to sign up. Uh, out at the, the, there's a table out there. Lauren Franson is, is manning that table. So if you can sign up for that. And then we have a women's breakfast coming up February 13th at 9 a.m. And their guest speaker will be Susie Brock. So you can sign up for that also. That's for women um, only. And that's, uh, there's a table out there for you gals. And uh, the cost is only $5. So... Uh, hopefully all of you will go to that. And then something um, that we have an opportunity to do. Um, somebody in our church came to me recently and has met uh, a man who is building a village in Uganda. 
and it's a, what's it called, um, what, oh, um, you can see how important um, the um, offering is. Um, guys and gals, if you'll come forward, it is very important, it's just I don't think about it. So if you'll come forward, we'll also give our take up, give our offering away. Um, if you need money, just take it out, I don't care. <laughs> All right. No, seriously, if you really, if, if you really have, you know, it's, it's going by, grab a buck if you need it for lunch. Um, well, Lord, you know, it's God's money, so if you want to take his money, go for it. Um, ooh, I could go into that a lot deeper, huh? Let's pray, quickly. Lord, we thank you that you have given to us abundantly, and quite honestly, Lord, everything we have is yours. And you've, uh, you've given it to us to steward. And so in our stewardship back to you this morning, we, we give back to you. We, we ask God that you would bless it, that your name would be glorified through it, Lord, and all needs uh, would be met for your kingdom. Amen? Amen. All right. Now, as they're doing that, I'll, I'll talk to you about this one last announcement. Um, they're doing a, a, I can't think of the word. Amy, are you here? Prototype, thank you. They're doing a prototype village in Uganda. Um, and there's a gentleman who is, is basically building a village. And one of the things, uh, Amy, uh, one of our people in our church who's been to Uganda with me, she noticed that they didn't have any rain gutters on the buildings that they were building. And we learned over there that one of the great ways to get water is through harvesting the, the rain. And so um, she said, you know, we'd love for you to look at this and, and, he, and we'd like to build a rainwater harvesting tank in your village. And he was very excited about it. He says, go for it. So we as a church have an opportunity to really kind of change what's going on in Uganda in a huge way. And so we have um, committed to building one rainwater harvesting tank. Now, I'm not, guys, you don't, don't feel like you have to give to this, but I will just say, it, it does change communities over there. And so Amy will be at a table. And if you just feel like donating something to that, that's great. So it, this tells you a little bit about it in your bulletin, okay? And then the very last thing, uh, I guess there's a raffle thing. Yeah. Carl goes, come on up if you're doing the raffle thing. This is the, Carl says to me this morning, he goes, man, I hope we win the, the dinner with you and I, you know? And I said, I didn't buy any tickets. And he got all mad, because he did. So, um, here you go. Gave me the mic, so it's our time to shine right now. First off, before we start, I want to say thank you to uh, Liz and Balchar. They donated all these things, so without them, we wouldn't have been able to go with everybody. So, let's get started. The first one will be a $50 Subway gift card. Don't look. <laughs> uh, winner number one is Andres Gallardo. <coughs> equivalent to 10 $5 foot launches. <laughs> that's very good news right there. I guess that's actually not a current thing anymore. So you, you might get a few sandwiches with that. The next one is two Universal Studios tickets, which is, I think, an incredible one. And I know people in the back over there are really wanting this one. Well, this is one of the hardest names I've ever seen. Uh, it's Matt R. V D A M E T K I W. Can anyone say that? <laughs> so, if you know the spelling of your last name and you are here, raise your hand. So maybe I spelled it wrong. <laughs> you might have spelled it wrong. No, he spells it right. 
Unfortunately, with that one, there's no contact information on it. So if that person is not here, you'll get a second chance. So you have approximately one second to respond. <laughs> and you've lost. Let's pull another one. Oh no! Reverend Tuttle! <laughs> one is the one that I think we've all been waiting for. The, the last two were good, but really mediocre in comparison to this one. We have a, a flyer here just to let you, just remind you of what it is. You did one lunch with Santa and his favorite elf. <laughs> <laughs> Don and Carl, and this is, this is the one, so this is going to be exciting. Here we go. <laughs> If it's Reverend Tuttle, it won't count. <laughs> John Cordy. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that are visiting, they actually did this thing for, um, to, to help with the, the expenses for the youth camp that we had in winter uh, just a couple weeks ago. All right, Carl? Wait. One other thing. If you don't know somebody here, go and meet them right now. You've got about 30 seconds to say hello to somebody you don't know. 